Hi everyone, this is Spring from ECM Level 2 support team in Asia Pacific region. Today I will show you how to perform air gap install for CallPack for business automation 21.0.2.4 and also using a, a innovative a method using Ansible full automation script. Okay, here uh, is my agenda. Uh, in the uh, first video, I will uh, uh, introduce the whole process, I mean the uh, air gap install and Ansible from high level briefing. And uh, in the second video, I will uh, show you the Ansible, some uh, basic uh, install procedure like uh, Ansible setup. And also in the video three, I will show the fourth stage of air gap install and also the cloud pack for business automation deployment with enterprise pattern. And from starting from video three, I will show uh, explore those four stage in detail, like uh, those th uh, four steps, including the uh, mirror images, uh, create operator operator catalog, and also. Uh, uh, prepare LDAP and the database uh, for ECM and uh, deploy uh, the final step is uh, deploy operator and the custom resource CR okay in video 6 and in the last video I will show uh, uh, you a live demo for the uh, cloud pack for business automation uh, uh, enterprise pattern environment uh, how uh, what the procedure you need to uh, carry on uh, post deployment. Okay, let's start it. Okay, from the high level, actually, uh, you can see that uh, the higher gap here, you can see the air gap high level uh, uh, architecture. So the key uh, is the best in server in the middle. So uh, actually, uh, here is the scenario. Because the enterprise uh, setup, actually, you can see on the right side, uh, actually, uh, we have we have the OCP OpenShift cluster and also the image re registry in the internet network. So it is uh, actually the isolation network from public internet. So we need a best in server in the middle like a middleman and actually try to fetch the images from the internet in uh, from uh, IBM in title registry and uh, fetch the image and then push the image to the in internet network like a uh, image registry and also uh, interface with OCP cluster to do the install and uh, deployment okay so I hope you understand the whole uh, picture. Yeah. So uh, here uh, we introduce the Ansible. Uh, I I will show you why we we choose Ansible to fill in the, this gap. Okay. So uh, first we need to know Ansible actually is uh, quite uh, uh, flexible and convenient tool to achieve the full automation for business uh, uh, for enterprise setup and deployment. Okay, actually we need Ansible to streamline the whole process installation, including installation and deployment across the different server. In, it includes uh, the, uh, the best in server, the key server best in server, and also the uh, backend uh, LDAP server database server and also the NFS server and also the, I mean the from best in server uh, interfacing with the OCP cluster so that's why we need Ansible to fill in this gap to achieve fully automation okay so okay that's that's it from uh, the high-level briefing